Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today, I am filming with Carly on location in the gorgeous Overland Park Ballroom in Kansas. Now, this studio is owned and decorated by my longtime friend, Amy Castro. And one of her students here has about 15 or 20 dresses hanging in the closet. So Carly agreed to model and I literally just went shopping in this closet of competition dresses and started choosing one. So this is the first of many that you will see Carly model. So I have no idea who made this dress. What I wanna do is just like always, go through and say what works on her body type and what doesn't work. This dress was purchased off the rack for someone else, not even for Carly, but it actually fits her really beautifully. The color is great. It's got some really intense rhinestoning patterns and maybe topaz and light topaz. This is not my personal preference of stone choices, but I think it is highly effective. And it's a great way to tie in an accent color without just putting the white stones, the crystal AB stones. So as far as having a different look, I, I really like it. I'm just not a beige fan in that sense, but I do really love the contrast. It is made of a stretch mesh lined with lycra. You can see sort of the sweetheart look. The sleeves are the same stretch mesh. They are not lined, which is nice because then they would be a little cooler when dancing. And is this lined? Nope, that is not lined either. So the downside of using a stretch mesh that is not lined is that it is fragile. So if you get your jewelry caught in it or you're in a hurry to pull it on, you could easily poke a finger through it and put a hole in it. Rhinestones cover a multitude of problems. <laughs> so should that happen, just glue a bunch of stones on it. Um, the sleeve length, this dress actually, for the most part, looks like it was made for you. <laughs> <laughs> it fits you really well. I, I would take in the sleeves. I think they're pretty loose. and But you know what? It's not the end of the world, and they may have fit beautifully on the person that wore it. Once again, with an off-the-rack dress, you're not ever going to get a perfect fit. Rotate if you would, please, ma'am. Now, this Carly has beautiful velvet smooth skin. So this plunging V back looks great on her. It, just like with a lot of low cut backs, I can easily get my hand in there. I, I could get two hands in there actually. So what I would do if I were making this dress for her custom, I would actually not have the roundedness. I would make it come to a point and actually have it be about two inches lower. This would be no wider, just the very tip of it. And that would be nice and elongating. It is harder to make. So if you make your own dresses, these are definitely tougher to make than a rounded. And that's why a lot of dressmakers do rounded backs. I would still be able to get my hands in it. It would just be a better look. All right, go ahead and fit. Now, notice the skirt while we're on this. This dress is made in a style that is very popular these days in the ballroom world in that it has a very long skirt, which makes her, she makes her look like she has very short legs. Now, Carla, you're 5'7", mm -hmm. which is 1.72 meters. I looked that up in advance. <laughs> Actually, Harrison did, one of the other teachers. So, the problem with this dress is that she's really tall, but yet it makes her look like she has short stubby legs. And so I am not a fan of this particular look. It's very popular in the ballroom world in all styles of dresses, smooth, standard, and even in Latin dresses. I don't know why, because it's not that great on people. However, that being said, this short little sassy ruffle actually makes it work because there is such a big contrast between all of this lace and stones and just this short little impact of a ruffle. If this were a smooth skirt or a standard skirt, literally that skirt would be less than a meter long or less than a yard long and then it would really make her look like she had short legs. So if you are going to do a dress with a very long bodice, keep a micro skirt basically as your accent. Um, but as we were talking around with it and you and Amy were going, wow, this dress looks really great on you. 
um, you hiked up one yes. side, right? Hiked up this side right here. And, and even doing this one little step makes such a difference because it, automa it draws the viewer's eye up and gives Carly longer legs just instantly. So you'll notice this little tail hanging back here. We don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it just ripped loose. No idea. I don't know if it's a design element or an accident. Um, the satin trim on this is nice. I particularly like the contrast between all the shine of the bodice and the matte fabric of the ruffle. And then a little bit of sheen with this satin. Feels like it's got crinoline in it. So all in all, I think this is actually a great dress. It is for sale. Just contact Amy at Overland Park Ballroom if you're interested. And, oh, one thing I would like to change, and if you've been following me for a while, you know I talk about this a lot, I would really like for this to not cur hug her tummy. So if the dress is actually plenty loose enough, is this a skirt yoke or, hmm, or a one-piece dress? All right, so there is a leotard built in here and the lace is just literally a lace overdress. If you like this idea for a skate dress, you would of course not do the overdress. It's not safe for skating. You would stitch your skirt on as a skirt yoke. But I would really love for this to hang and I don't know that I can make it do it because it's tacked in there. I would like for this to hang straight off Carly's tummy. And she has a classic female tummy, classic Renaissance tummy, just a little gentle curve. But if, you know, like let's say she were dancing at the end of the night when our bellies get bigger, that would be way more obvious than it is in the middle of the afternoon, like when we're filming right now. So overall, I think this is a gorgeous dress. How do you feel in it? Is it comfortable? Yeah, definitely comfortable. All right, yeah. good deal. Okay, that is it for me. We got a whole closet full of other dresses for Carly to try on. <laughs> so that's it. If you have found value in today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Leave me a message below telling me what's your favorite part of this dress. If you have not already done so, please go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address so I can make sure you get the newsletter and information about when my Sew Like a Pro courses are open for enrollment. And you'll see Carly and I again shortly. Thank you so much. Bye.